Hi students, our next topic is error detection and correction course. Our next topic error detection and correction course. So in this concept first we will see what is meant by parity checking and what is meant by even parity and what is meant by odd parity. In this video we will see parity checking, even parity or parity concepts. These three concepts we will see. In the next video we will see the Hamming code concept. So, first we will see the data transmission system. So, before going to the parity bits behavior and our error detection and error correction, first we will see the data transmission system. So, error detection or error correction, where we will get error detection, where we will get error correction, first where we will get error, right, where we will get error. For example, if you have some data, one, some, for example, 11001, one, this is the information. When you, you, you are transferring this information from one place to another place, then only you will get uh, some error. For example, see this picture. Here we have some source information. This is a transmitted system. Okay. So this is a virtual information. 101101. This is the information. So this is available at me. So source is me. Right. Next. Channel. So channel means, so uh, I am transferring this information through the air or through the some online video class or some maybe any other system. Next. Finally, destination. So, I am transmitting the, this information through a channel and to uh, and this information is reached at the destination point. Okay, I am transmitting this information from here to here. So, actually this 101101 information, actually I need to get here like as 101101. The same information is uh, transmitted from here and it should be actually this should be received as 101101. But this channel, this channel is uh, maybe air communication medium or wired communication medium that is wired communication or wireless communication, maybe any type of communication. So this is the called generally channel. So th this channel, this information is transmitting. When it is transmitting, there may be some noise added here. So there may be a chance of getting some disturbance or noise here. Due to this noise, this information, for example, 101101 information may be due to the effect of the noise, it is converted like this. This is converted like this. This is that, that is in the place of this zero, in the place of zero. There may be a chance of uh, changing 1. So 0 is converted as 1. Right? So some error is there. So this error information now is available at this destination. Okay? This is an info error information is available at this destination. So due to channel disturbance due to, due to the disturbance of this channel uh, uh, from the channel this noise may be changed this information like this now this information is received at the destination so so some error so in the place of here some error is there now i am saying that it is the source uh, information that is the destination information but in the real time at the destination side one person will be available in the source side, another person will be available. Okay, they are not communicating. When he is transferred that information, that will be transmitted as wrong information. Now, you have to identify the error, where the error is available, where the error is available. So, so finding the error is nothing less error detection. If any methodology explaining the process of error detection, that is called error detection system. If any system is there to correct that error, that is called error correction system, right? So these are the error detection and error correction systems definition. When the data is transmitted between different systems, an error may be occurred, the error due to the noise or disturbances. 
So, in this communication system, in the binary transmission process, the zero may be changed to one or vice versa, one to zero. Next, to maintain data integrity between transmitter and receiver, extra bit or more than one bit are added to maintain data. So, present day, when you are transferring the data, uh, theft, of, theft uh, that is the very, very biggest problem in the present day. There is a stealing of data is happening present day. So, for the security purpose point of view also, we have to add some se uh, security keys. Okay. So, uh, the data, if you want to maintain the data integrity between transmitter and receiver, you need to add some extra bits. Okay. Right. For the main information, you have to add this information. Next. Codes which allow one error detection are called error detecting codes and codes which allow error detection and correction are called error detecting and correcting codes. If any system is detecting the errors, that is called error detecting system. If any system is detecting and correcting the error, then that is called error detection and correction system. Okay, so these are the codes generally available. Okay, so this is a communication system. In a communication system, we are transferring some data. At the end, we are receiving the data. There may be a chance of getting some disturbances. So for that reason, we are uh, we are we are using some error detection systems. Okay, so this is the uh, uh, the definition of error detection and correction. So now I next coming to here. Oh, so for understanding this error detection and correction codes, first you, we have to know what, what are the parity bits. What are the parity bits? Generally, the parity bits are divided into two categories. The first one even parity and second one odd parity. We have two types of parity bits. The first one even parity and odd parity. What is meant by even parity? What is meant by odd parity? For example, here I have a number 10101010. Okay, so these are the sequence of some numbers. So, what is the parity of these numbers? What is the parity of these numbers? It's very simple. So, calculate how many number of ones are there in the sequence. How many ones are available? Count 1, 2, 3, 4. Here we have totally four numbers. That means you have to add these all of the numbers. Okay. How many numbers are there? So, so count that numbers, give the value. Here four numbers are there. Four numbers are there. So that is nothing plus even output you got. So it is satisfying the even parity value. It is satisfying the even parity. So this is this code is following even parity. Otherwise, you do one thing. One plus zero. What is the answer? One. So after adding these two. Add this to 1 plus 0, the value is 1. So now add these two values 1 plus 1, 0. Next, add these two values 0 plus 0, 0. Add these two values 0 plus 1, 1. Now add these two values 1 plus 0, uh, the value is 1. Now add these two values 1 plus 1, 0. Next, 0 plus 0, 0. Now the final answer is the final value is 0. So this 0, if you if you are adding any sequence, if you get 0, that is called even parity. If you get the value as 1, that is called odd parity. So see here, whatever the sequence given, uh, you take the sequence. And sum all the bits, if you, get, if you get 0, that is called even, that is satisfying even parity. If you will get 1, that is uh, satisfying odd parity. Okay, right. So what you have to do here, you have to sum all these values. So 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 0 plus. So add these all the values. So finally you will get, uh, if, you, if you get 0, it is satisfying even parity. It is not satisfying odd parity. It is satisfying even parity. In the same way, next take one more sequence. I have taken here three ones. So actually it is satisfying odd parity. No sum. 1 plus 0, the 1 plus 0, the value is 1. Now add these two values. 1 plus 1. 0. Now add these two values. 0 plus 0, 0. Next, 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 0, 1. Next, 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 0, 1. So finally, the value is 1. 
if the sequence if you are added the total bits uh, at a time you have to add only two bits at a time you have to add two bits only though do, uh, don't add all the bits at a time you have to add two bits at a time and the final value is one now it is satisfying the odd parity what is said so here how many number of ones are available three so that is odd number so after adding we got the value one so whatever it may be the sequence if you add the sequence so if you get the value one that is satisfying the odd parity otherwise it is satisfying the even parity so see here so here we have even number of ones here we have odd number of ones so uh, these are the two ways of identifying the even parity or odd parity one is a general way of counting so that a human can understood so second way a machine can do this operation you have to add these all of the bits then automatically you will get the even parity or odd parity okay right so this is one side the uh, error detection side so for error detecting code uh, when you are transferring the data for example uh, here i am sending 15 so 15 equivalent value 1 1 1 1 so in my system i have 1 1 1 1 four ones okay so what i want to say here so i want to uh, here how many number of bits are available here four ones are available so that is an even number or odd number right that is an even number now so by adding 0, by adding 0, there is no change. It is satisfying an even parity. Now I am transmitting this information. At the end of the uh, user side, if the data will transmit it if like this, if the data is transmitted like this, okay, he will understood. So he is sending the first bit as 0. That is, he is sending even number of ones. How many number of ones are available in the remaining part? Four ones are available. So uh, the, he is sending that the first bit is representing as the code. If it is zero, that is uh, the remaining bits uh, uh, should satisfy the even parity. If he is saying one, the remaining bits should satisfy the odd parity. So uh, separate this one, separate this one, and add the remaining bits. So the remaining bits are four ones. So the four ones are nothing but as even number. So there is no error in that particular system. If you are if you are transmitting this information, if you receive the information like this, if you are sorry, if you are receiving the information like this, right? So the first bit is the representing parity, that is even parity. But adding the remaining bits, if you are adding the remaining bits, if you will get the odd number, so the given code is the key is even parity. But after adding these odd bits, I got some odd number so there may be a chance of getting error so with using parity in this way we are identifying the errors see clearly once again <coughs> to detect errors in the data communication and processing an eighth bit sometimes added to ascii character to indicate its parity generally ascii code we are representing with seven bits okay so i am adding eighth bit as an msb for example So 4, 3, total 7 bits, ASCII code is 7 bits. I am adding 8th bit as an MSB, this side. If uh, 0 added here, there is no problem, okay. So there is no problem. So for that reason, the 8th bit I am adding at the place of MSB. So here, I am not saying that this is the value. This is I am using for coding purpose. This is uh, either representing even parity or odd parity. It may be representing even parity or odd parity. If it is representing 0 or 1, right? 0 or 1. See here, for example, here how many number of ones are there in the remaining bits? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Total 4 numbers are available. Now I will represent 0. That is, uh, I am transmitting even number of ones. Okay. For example, if you have a number like this. Okay. These are the 7 bits. Now, I am adding here one, oh, one here. I am adding here one. Now, how many number of bits are available? Eight bits. And I am saving the first bit as one. If I am sending the first bit as one, that is the, it satisfies the odd parity. Uh, the remaining bits, how many number of ones are available here? That is, the odd number of ones are available in the remaining part. So, now I am transmitting the uh, seven bits of ASCII code with a parity bit. 
So this bit is called parity. If it is zero, that is even. Pa uh, if it is uh, uh, zero or one, we cannot decide that is even parity or parity. That is depends upon the remaining bits. If remaining bits are even, you have to represent zero. If the remaining bits are odd, you have to represent one. Like in this way, you have to transmit the information. So see here, for example, ASCII code A. A in, in, in generally previously we have taken one. Five zeros one. So when I'm with even parity, that is seems to be like this, right? If you are, if you are saying that the key is even parity, so that you are the source person has to say I'm sending even number of bits. If you are sending uh, zero, that is even number of bits. Here one is there for uh, the remaining one. That is odd parity. It is satisfying odd parity. It is satisfying even parity. So next, take the t value. So in this T, we have three ones. So with even parity, you are representing one one zero one zero one zero zero. So that is with even parity. With odd parity, zero one zero one zero one uh, double zero. So when you are transmitting this data, so if you found even number of ones, that is satisfying even parity. If the number of ones are odd, that is satisfying the odd parity. Okay. So we will discuss this even parity and odd parity in detail in the Hamming code. Operations. Okay, so the first bit indicates the even parity and odd parity. Some of the ASCII table information I have given here. The, take the capital A and T values, whatever the uh, information we represented in the uh, previous slide that is here. So the, the A value and D value you can get from the, uh, from this table. So this is the table you can get the A value, T value from this table. Right. In the next class, we will see the Hamming code operation. Uh, when in the in your communication system, when you are transmitting the data, you have to code with Hamming information. The scientist Hamming he proposed this this theory. So for that reason, based on his name, we are calling this is called Hamming code theory. So this Hamming code theory will detect a single bit error and it will correct the single bit information in the transmit data. If you have only single bit error, you are using Hamming code. If you have more than two uh, one data, that is if you have two bit error or three bit error, we are using another type of systems. So in our second year STLD subject, we have only single bit error detection and correction by using Hamming code. This Hamming code we will see in the next video. Thank you.